Hi, Abbe. Um, let me know if you need support with the Swedish records. I, I don't do so much genealogy now. Uh, try to look uh, into your family tree a little bit. Um, if you could find some estate in in uh, and inventory, but didn't find anything. Um, you have when I looked in Schillinge Mark. I, I guess you have this software, and and what you can see then is that you have all the birth books. Maybe you have understood it's so easy, so it's boring doing Swedish genealogy. <laughs> you have household records birth records and so on, and um, one document which is excellent is the state and inventory, and they contains, uh, the, you write down when you die what you have, and that, this has been done since 1600 in Sweden, and they are doing it so exact, so you can see how many pair of shoes they have, if you are lucky, you can see the books and the name of the books. They have two glasses, two trousers, and the condition of the trousers and so on. So it's it's extremely interesting. Let's see if I can show you one example. But but I didn't find and and normally you do a. Uh, estate and inventory if people own something what what I realize and what what I think is interesting with doing genealogy is that you learn more about how people have it and I miss a little bit inside wiki tree that we try to share it's much more that we get dates instead of getting how life was and what I learned is that in Värmland, enormous amount of people left. And, and uh, so I did something which Chris don't like, I think. I, I don't understand why he doesn't like it. I understand and I don't understand, but I think it's not okay <laughs> because... Um, if we should do serious wiki uh, uh, research and using it, we need to do it in a much better way. So I added this section here, starvation in Sweden, and it's from Värmlands rötter. And Värmlands rötter has for every parish, they have done pages. So you have, what you can do is, uh, I, I think you understand it, translate to English. So you have an introduction about this parish. And parish is the unit we have in Sweden that has been there for also 1600. And, and you see all the books is parish. So that's the unit we, we, we use. Uh, Maybe we can do like uh, County Värmland. And then... So the, the, here you have all the different parishes. It's enormous amount. I, I'm doing a work over at Wikidata to, to get more knowledge. But here they have about um, uh, Schilling Mark. So this is maybe the church they have uh, go, uh, been to. You have... Um, uh, this is uh, a folklore society who has a in Bern, so that could also be a place they have been to. And then this place also have what uh, church books are available, but they are all uh, scanned, I think. So that's uh, uh, nothing new. And here you have uh, uh, villages. Or farms in so here you have Klevan and how big it was. I'm not good on this. It's uh, I think how much tax you had to pay. Uh, you have history, and from here I stole this with the starvation. Uh, so here they explain how it is, uh, what seas you have, how the um, uh, 
uh, what kind of uh, the trees you find, how big um, the farms area, the area for farming is. Uh, and, and a little bit more historical. And that it also was spelled Skärringsmark. Uh, and before 900, it um, now it between six and eight hundred, it also was part of Norway. And I was skiing in this area, and and my understanding is that people just they didn't understand if they were part of Sweden or Norway in the old days. It was a king somewhere up in Stockholm, but you had more contacts over the border and so on. The border was not a big thing. So it has been part of Norway in the old days. And pilgrims, pilgrims uh, had a walking path through Schillingmark's uh, Dalen, what you say, yeah, area. Uh, the oldest books is from 1613, and then it was 34 mantal. Don't understand the Swedish word for that. And then you, you had backstugesittare. That's really poor people. And 1750, maybe it was 34 people. Uh, 385, and 1863 it was 1251, and that's the highest. So then the last four years, it was 107 more people coming. In the middle of 1860, people start emigrating to the USA, where uh, the population decreased. In 40 years, 300 people emigrated. 30 families with 70 children, 90 farmhands, male and 80 farmhands, female. Um, left to the states and in 1980 they got some industry and then it was more people moving in uh, the farming in Sri Lamek has uh, never been uh, good they were small pieces um, and people living in this are mostly Use the forest for yeah, surviving, I think. And here is it, it's a sad chapter the farming. Uh, because maybe it was primitive. Um, I'm <laughs> not so good at farming, so. Uh, and here is speak the first and the industries came to Sri Lanka in 1792, and it, it was a iron factory, uh, who was created by Johan Werling at Adolfsfors. And here how it developed. Uh, and then we had the Boda Garveri, that, that's the skin, what they call, uh, from uh, animals. Uh, and also uh, shops started in 1850, and in 1870 Schillinga was opened. Before 1800, they had no streets. It was just um, paths for uh, horses. And uh, and after 1830, the first streets were done in this area. The 
Yeah, Railway was in 1920, but after just 33 years it was uh, closed down. In all the time people were do creating their own clothes. Lean odling, it's um, and sh having sheep was used to do lean. I don't know in English for lean. Uh, uh, maybe we can do like. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> we can do like this. I think we do translate to English. No, we could not. No, I think it's inside the page. Stupid done this page. Uh, but what, what I tried to say to you, um, I think you can do like this. Do Google Translate and it open up a, a new page. Uh, so here you can read, hopefully. But what they had, which I added, is that they had the starvation. Hmm. Sorry. Uh, 66 to 67. It was really terrible times. Uh, so a lot, that's the reason people left for the States. It was not because it was fun or so on, but they, they had no food at all. And and how here they speak about in the parish meetings, minutes from meetings, that a, a farmer was um, uh, given away. You have to pay for him, to do who, the one who was bidding lowest. Uh, so it was terrible, and uh, at that time they also had too many people in in this area. Mm. So so what I created uh, was that I did a space page that I have input. So you can translate it better if you think it's okay. So this is a space page. I think I, I I have no communication with Chris, but before it was you could edit when you had pages like this, but I think it's gone. I don't know. So here I have taken this and did the Google Translate. So check if you think it's good English or not, and if it shouldn't be there, take it away. Uh, so what's done is uh, I added just this, and when you do that, you get the link. I can click on, and then I clicked on it and created the page. Uh, No. Um, so here is the page. I, I didn't add it to some other, and I have another space page about the crop failure in Sweden. Uh, Things we don't understand today, but but it, I think it's as you live just. And here we have also in Swedish, how life was, and here you have people picture of in in the north of Sweden was even worse. Here you have a mother who is dying. With her, she's dying, and she has her children uh, around her, and and. Um, to survive, people went to, to the States. And what happened that then, for the first time, I think they had something called Nödjärd. People, The government was giving money, but that was for the North part. But it was also, people were taking it. It was not done in the best way, if you can say so. So, how snack hjälpte av det? How wrong it was? Uh, 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 was uh, given. 
Uh, here you have uh, emigration from Sweden to Norway. I think this is also maybe in English, uh, but I think we can see that we here we have also the locations people left to. Um, Uh, so this is the area and, and also see at them a lot. Uh, maybe we could have some graphs we don't have. Swedish immigration, here you have it in English. Um, and it was tough traveling in 1860 70. Uh, there is an excellent um, uh, video about Bishop's Hill. Uh, that was a little bit early, it was 1850, and it took three months I think that is the one to go to this place and uh, those were people who are leaving Sweden because of a religion yeah, this is the Whereas the video. whole priesthood of the established church commenced a violent and bitter persecution against us because of our faith, and their wrath and madness cast many of our brethren into prison, we resolved to immigrate to the United States of America. I'm Jim Wilhelm. Those words written in Sweden in the 1840s sum up Eric Jansen's frustration. Mm. So he, Eric Jansen, went there by religion and created, you should go there, it created a crazy town where uh, people should live and I think obey him. So they, the town was there for five years, people didn't own anything themselves, uh, they have to give everything to the church and so on. So it was crazy. Uh, what I would like to show you also is that um, links to pages like this which are excellent, I have added. So if you Check some of the people here. I have also the category pages. I tried to start up doing this, but Chris, I think, never understood that there was all these problems with the links and templates. Because you need to have templates. Because it's 2,500 parishes in Sweden. And... and um, so we have created most of the pages and I created a really ambitious way of doing it. So this is a template and, and because that you just change in the template if something is failing. Uh, what I'm doing right now is that instead of doing it inside Wikidata, Wikipedia, Wiki3, I move this over to Wikidata which is more structured and people it's machine readable and so on. So, uh, hopefully, but it will take some time. Uh, but I have done some maps and so on and, and start moving things over. So, here is a template that says this is Schillingmark, this is the page in, in Wikipedia and so on, and this is the code and so on, so on. So, out of this, this page is generated. So, the socken. Uh, is described in Swedish in uh, so here can also do translate so they speak about the industry history and so on and I have taken from those pages they use templates and so on so I have taken good information here here you have maps from 1883 which could be interesting maybe you can see yes it is
Härad is another level of Nordmarks härad. So here we have Nordmark and then we have to understand if it's what part of Nordmark. So this is a map from 1891. Uh, and here you can zoom in maybe and find the houses. I can do that after the video. Uh, and normally you can see how this is a house, this is a house and so on. So this is really interesting to find. Uh, what I also have links to is parish maps and that's also really really cool it's remainings in Sweden uh, to understand this with parish it, it's difficult so then if you this is Swedish Kartinställning, Socken, Parish then you can see where the border is so this is a map with the parish border so Järnskod, Köla so if you are looking for people and they leave the the area you can start looking in the surrounding. That's a good thing. Then you have Bergerud, Hongstad. So here we have the places. Bön. If we start zoom in here, we can see RR, and that is remainings. So if we take an eye on this one. No, we take the hand and we move it out and we take an eye. And then we can see what this remaining is. So it's a, a B, it's a house. Gorge Tomp house. It's this um, area where a house has been. And the time is middle age to newer age. This is the coordinates here, you can click on Google Earth to get it. Uh, and then they describe it. So I have helped people to find remainings of houses. Here they say the house is 100 times 60 meter. Uh, is on the map from 1643. And in 1564, they have documents that say uh, it's there. They haven't visited the place. So this is a really cool site to find things. You have the geographic name register. Some people has, for most of Swedish parishes, created a name register. So this is all the names you have in this parish. So if you are reading the church books and find a name, you normally find it also here. Um, we have Boda. So Gidi is for farm. Uh, and then you have Boda Vesta, Boda Nes and so on. So then you can click on it and then they have a reference. I use this to find, when I look in the, the books, to find uh, where it is. So here they say Boda is just a small place in Schillingaryd. And then you have a year, 1912, it was written. So this is a cool site. So I have the same structure of all the links on all the parishes, but it was for so much trouble with Chris, so I gave up. And and this should be done by a register and push it out because it's too much work. It's crazy amount of work. Here you have archives available in the National Archive of Sweden. We have something cool good archives but we also have not church but we have even more so here you have Schillinger mark you have the church archive and then in this national archive it's scanned but you also have archive from the, uh, the uh, fire 
what they call fire brigade from 1893 you had from a company from 1944 and so on and here you have all uh, small uh, uh, iron places I think has archives and those archives are available if you visit uh, Arkiv Centrum Värmland here you have Eda Church Arkiv, Kjöla Church Arkiv and so on so it's enormous amount of information that's available here is people uh, butchers uh, you have the history of Schillingamar. Uh, the parish is stable but then you also it could change I don't think it changed so much here maybe a fogderi I don't know what it is uh, here is religious division also religious bigger unit fogderi I think is for um, judges and so on but I'm not sure and here you can see the county, it was Närken Värmland until 79, 79 after that. And then you can see if you find militaries, it was in the Jesse company. So you have this information for all parishes. Or co this is the religious division. So they use, just to make it more complex, we have more things. Family Search has, uh, I plan to help them. But then I moved over to Wikidata because they have they done a lot of work. They have all the parishes, they have all the names and so on. But they need more information. They have a good structure and they ha also have a new... They are not afraid of using uh, templates. Uh, and they use the latest... Um, I think they have much more resources than Wikipedia. They use the latest uh, Wikimedia source. Here you have people upload pictures about Chilingabar. Now it was 1870 people left, and we have just two pictures here, but it's about 12,000, 15,000 uh, uh, pictures. So this is a good source to find all photos. Digital Museum has changed the structure, so I tried to speak to them, and here is the reason why you should have uh, uh, templates. Now this way of searching doesn't work. So you have to have some... I have asked them how, what is the best way to search. So if you just search on Skilling Mark, you get 12. So here you get a house in Bern. Maybe it was one of the houses they lived in. Uh, Frammegården. And Kerstin Eriksson was the last one living in this house. Uh, then we have a picture over Schillinger Mark in 1946. You have from a Hembig Skåd. And so on and so on. So this is the way uh, they may be lived. Uh, and then we have the map and picture. And uh, this is a folklore society. Uh, they have nearly done it for parishes. They are using församling. So here you have, they have uploaded some pictures. But what they have done also is that they have a register all houses and the location. So we have Bergerud, we have Bö, we have Boda and Klevene. So if I click on Klevene, we get a location where it was. And I think this is good. If you change to satellite. We are lucky we could see if there is a house. Maybe it was this house still there. And then we have this Värmlands rötter. Uh, so my am ambition has been to gather all the information. And then I and the girl Lena have some different opinions. So she has moved away some links. I don't understand why. So then you have to go to... Värmland, one level up, and then we have Wikipedia about Värmland, um, see this about Värmland that you can buy. So here you have the uh, books about court cases, and that's good reading, but it's difficult to read. 
I think it's just pictures of it. Uh, Fryksende, Järnskog, Dalsland. Here we have uh, people. So here you can have the 19,000 people. So maybe they have done it in, in a, a picture. So it's already researched. So that's cool. Uh, we have this map which we looked before on. Church records online. Yes, but that's archive digital. And then we can, what, this page is also excellent because it's sad that we moved it away. I, I think it's so stupid. Uh, here you can see what is scanned. So you have a state in the inventory. That I think you have that for all Sweden. You have court records and prison arrest. If you get some um, people who are doing illegal things, it's excellent for genealogy. Uh, family name register. Haven't seen that. And then we have Facebook groups. My ancestors are from Värmland. So you can be a member in it. Maybe then you have local people can help you. Have church yards in, in Värmland. I'm doing church yards on Wikidata for famous people and mark the graves and so on. Uh, and um, here, if you are a member, I'm not a member anymore, uh, then they photograph uh, the cemeteries and put it into Facebook. I, I, I don't like the way because uh, it could be done better because it's difficult to search and so on. Uh, and here you have a Facebook group about genealogy research in Värmland. Uh, you have Vicky Rötter. That is the Swedish Genealogy Society has a website, and here you have books about Värmland. Uh, and I think Värmland is good researched, because a lot of people left to the States and a lot of people are interested to get their knowledge of All days. And then we have, uh, this is resources, and then we have also books. And then you have pictures. So this is also excellent. I'm so stupid, so I forget. What did we have? Bergeru did we have, I think. No, they explain now how to search. Till builder, to the picture. So here we have at least three pictures, was not much. I never used it, so... Eighty seventy five. that's cool. <laughs> but this is a um, picture you have also at other places. It was not so much that I kind of had hope from. So that's Värmlands Bilder. Vicky Rötter is about a uh, genealogy site about how doing research and so on, I think. Um, and then we have Ambita Forum. Here you can discuss things and ask questions. That's an excellent forum. Um, uh, here I have a link to them. And then we have the census 89, but that's too late. So here you can... Um, So it's indexed. Oh, it's more than 10,000 people. So then you get the people like this.
and then we have Werner's rotted, and that's the site I, I showed you. No, I'm, I'm on the wrong page. So, uh, best is to find, uh, I think, estate and inventories, but it's a lot to learn, and, and uh, I hope it's okay that I added um, uh, this about the storage, I think you don't understand if you don't ha have the history. Uh, so this is important, and it's just to add the space page. And hopefully project database error will not kill those things. I miss some kind of wiki tree board of people speaking how to do it in the best way. I understand that most people are not skilled and so on, but <clears throat> sometimes I think, why not? change some part of WikiTree to make it easier. And also that we don't have a, a, a research notes page. There is a talk page in Wiki. Um, and if you're doing genealogy, you need to speak to each other. There are questions. And you can then read what happened before. Uh, I, I'm more on Wikipedia now, and it's it's crazy to read those things, but it's you learn a lot. Uh, but let me know if you need more support. This was a long video. Good luck.